going to share now the new moon in Gemini at eight degrees through the houses. Okay. So Aries, this is your third house. This is going to be really good uh, when you start a new project in regards to writing, learning a new language, um, making a contract. Um, so something new can happen in regards to your relationship with your younger siblings or something new can happen in your in the life of your younger siblings, okay? Um, so Taurus, Taurus, this is happening in your second house. This could be really good in getting a contract of uh, perhaps um, in regards to money, earning money. And um, you may you may find, uh, um, yeah, you may be able to to buy something because the tor tor this has to do with your second house of your of property and things that you own. Okay, so there may be some kind of contract in regards to um, buying something, buying or selling or, okay, so Gemini, this is in your first house. So Gemini, you may be feeling like you are entering a whole new world. <laughs> you're, you're going into like a new parallel dimension. You may be feeling like your life is changing before your eyes. Because this is in your house. You may be feeling that you're just um, creating a new book. <laughs> okay, it's like a new chapter in your life. Okay, for cancer, cancer, cancerians, I wanted to say. Um, it is happening in your 12th house. And um, during the day of the new moon on the 30th, you might be very possible where this is that night where you can have an out of body experience. The, the veil is very thin. You can see a ghost. You can have some kind of a very extreme lucid dreaming. Okay, so this is uh, will be very interesting how that bears or possibly um, communication. Now on the um, the day. <laughs> Um, be careful in regards to secrets, um, things behind closed doors, but the, it is a dark time. So um, just uh, when the new moon goes forward, um, there may be some new project that may come about in regards to communicating with someone from far away. You might start to get in contact or, or get into a contract um, with a job that's internationally, okay? And for Leos, uh, this is happening in your 11th house of friendship. So um, you may you may find a new friend, but um, with the new moon here, you might have to let go of, of a friend. Um, there may be some miscommunications on the 30th of May. Okay, so, but the 11th house, uh, two days after the new moon, when the moon is growing again, you have a chance to um, make a contract, something that has to do with your hopes, dreams, and wishes, okay, and money. Virgo, this is happening in your 10th house of career. This is going to be really good in getting into a contract that has to do with your career, your reputation, your fame out in the world, you being able to talk with your boss. Um, yeah, this is something new. Maybe you're getting a promotion. May it, a new position is very possible. For Libra, this is happening in your ninth house of higher education of uh, traveling long distances. So this is very, very possible. You could be entering into a new course for higher education, uh, perhaps in regards to um, writing or communicating, learning a language or programming. This is very good energy for that. Um, so Scorpio, this is happening in your eighth house. And Scorpio, you belong in the eighth house. So this is really good for you. For your energy of um, 
Hmm. So two days after, two days after, it's like asking someone to marry you. Okay. It's like, uh, someone, someone is, could be, um, you don't want to pop the question on the day of the new moon. Wait till the moon grows because, because you might get your heart broken. They might say no to you. Okay. Um, uh, but this is a good time to get into a contract. And that's what the eighth house is like the contract of marriage being in, well, the seventh house is contract of marriage, but this is a really uh, favorable in other people's money, bringing in money, getting um, a contract signed, whether it be with the bank or with the government, getting loans, but money could be flowing to you. For Sagittarius, this is happening in your seventh house. This is also having to do with um, a possibility of someone telling you that they love you or you wanting to propose to someone or they wanting to get married with you. So that energy is pushing forward for marriage, okay? And uh, yeah, Scorpio, I should have said that. I did say marriage, okay, so that's good enough. So it also has to do with business contracts for Scorpio and Sagittarius. Um, Capricorn, this is happening in your sixth house. Again, contracts in regards to the workplace. Being able to com communicate, um, having new um, <clears throat> colleagues. Um, so this is really good for, for communicating. Uh, but on the 30th of May, there may be some miscommunications with your colleagues at work or at the gym, at the fitness studio or so. But um, but when it starts to... When it starts to um, um, when the new moon is starting to grow, then um, this could be what you could be signing a new contract to go and and to be at a fitness studio um, or to a contract that has to do with health or something or fitness or work. Okay, Aquarius, this is happening in your fifth house. Um, the day of uh, the 30th of May, it, your communication with the with children may not be so, so good. Um, also, in regards to um, entertainment or organizing any kind of entertainment, uh, um, anything that has to do with entertainment, these contracts of organizing may not go so well. Not a good day to like if you're if you're looking to um, um, get an appointment at a restaurant, for instance, or buy tickets, or you don't want to do it on the 30th of May. You want to wait till two days afterwards. That um, so there may be some some difficulties there on the 30th of May, but when uh, uh, so two days after when you see the moon growing again, this is really a good energy to start creating your own, your own business, um, um, writing lyrics, writing music, writing poetry. The energy is very, very strong to be very creative uh, and to communicate with children as well or uh, for things to go well in regards to entertainment or getting a contract as an entertainer. Pisces, this is happening in your fourth house of home and family on the 30th of May. It may not be very good energy to be communicating within the family, but then um, two days, around two days afterwards, you will see that um, a lot of... Uh, um, a lot of possibilities can happen in regards to contracts uh, for home um, or some kind of contract that is happening within the family. Um, a lot of good communication within the family. Um, also with the car traveling. Uh, so you, the, 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 be careful with your car and your home and things like that on the 30th of May and your communication. But otherwise, 
this energy it's either you have an opportunity to to do something in regards to your car or your home so prosperity in regards to your housing or your or your the car that you have okay getting into a new contract or um yeah so what else being able to communicate with your family so that was it, you guys. Thank you for being here and watching. You guys rock. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you want to check out my next video regarding Mercury going forward on the 3rd of June. Bye.